Hello everyone, today a highly requested video, the Waldstein Sonata by Beethoven and I will show you some tips and tricks on how to play the sonata and I will start with the first movement today, enjoy! The first thing I want to cover is right at the beginning, the best way to play these notes is to not fully press down the keys but kind of stay in the keys. This allows for a good repetition and also a quiet one. So don't fully release the keys, stay in the keys and release them about halfway till you can play them again. Next I want to talk about harmonies and I would like to play the second one a bit quieter than the first one and when you get to the crescendo make sure that that's the lowest point that you start at because when you see the crescendo that means from there you start the crescendo. This section can be solved by using a rotating motion. Obviously I'm exaggerating here, but you can understand it's almost like a tremolo or a trill. For this section I have a fingering that you can follow, but other than that it's really about the rotation. There's a small rotation that adapts to the keys and makes it a lot easier. I often think in terms of instruments and here I think of brass so you can make this sound of brass uh, and you need to make sure that you have a good finger legato so connect each notes without pedal and then of course add pedal at the end One thing I like to do is the first time I like to accentuate the upper voice and the second time when it repeats I like to bring out the lower voice. For the thirds you can follow this fingering right here and it's important to think in two groups one thing about this is always think until the last note and prepare the thumb this makes it easier to jump down Always do a small crescendo and decrescendo or phrasing in these scales or lines. Even if there is nothing written, I think you need to have some direction. It doesn't need to be a lot, but some direction helps. And this is quite a famous passage here. And the trick is to just learn to jump in the right hand. 
So aim and practice a lot and kind of carry over the weight. Make sure the last note is not too loud. This repeated note is also quite tricky and famous. So make sure that you play the first one like a staccato almost. The last bars require just a bit of attention in the left hand because of this jump. So I like to play with the fourth finger here because it makes the jump easier. So these are some tips and tricks for the first movement. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you want to book a lesson on the Waldstein, just uh, head over to my Fiverr. Link is in the description and we can do a one-on-one -on -one session. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. And I'll also do the second and third movement of the Waldstein just after I have to do some other video projects. So thank you and see you next time.